It's after lunch. I know you all want to fall asleep. This is the worst time to be a presenter, so you're going to have to give me a little bit of slack and try and stay awake. As part of that, this is going to be an interactive workshop. Now, what most of you probably didn't expect is that I'm actually going to be asking you to do some mathematics through this course. So your brains need to be activated. Okay? I need you to think. I need to be able to do, to be fair, basic arithmetic. Um, but it is coming. Be aware. Those of you sitting on tables of one right, who are actually participating, please move into another table. Okay? We're going to be doing this in groups. This is a workshop. I will try and limit my rambling to a minimum as possible. So let's start with a fairly quick show of hands. Who here is using Kanban? About half of you. Okay. Of the people who didn't put your hands up, how many of you know what Kanban is? Okay, not too bad. All right. How many here has you, you don't really know what Kanban is? You've never used it. You just you're here to learn from the very beginning. A few of you, okay? So for those of you who are starting from the very beginning, I am going to go very quickly. All right? So if you have questions about some of the core principles and some of the core ideas which I'm overlooking and you're unsure, just stick your hand up, interrupt me, and I'll be happy to like, go into a little bit more detail and address some of those issues. All right, now, this talk is a little bit different to uh, the majority of Kanban talks. Can we be a bit louder? Thank you. So this is going to be a little different to the usual Kanban talks that you've probably heard. I'm actually not going to talk about Kanban until towards the very end. Why? Because Kanban itself is a tool for visualizing and tracking flow. But what is your flow? What is the process flow that you're undertaking and going through? Now, each organization, every division, department, team within the organization, interacts with hundreds of processes on a daily basis. Each one of these processes, each one of these uh, ways of working is in itself what we call a value stream. It's called a value stream because at the end of the process, you have created something that creates value for the organization. If it doesn't create value, then you probably shouldn't be doing it in the first place. All right. Does that make sense? So that's the value stream in the value stream map. Now, the second part which you need to understand is when you are creating those, these value streams and, and defining these process flows, we're only really interested in common processes. If you do something once, it, it's not repeatable. There's no point in tracking or visualizing it. These are, these